The word on the street is that Srisaket So Rungvisai, former WBC Super Flyweight Champion of the World, will be returning in March back in Thailand. This will be interrupting his longest ever inactive period in his career. He will have been out for almost a year, having previously lost that WBC title to Juan Francisco Estrada in April of last year. Who he's going to fight, I'm not so sure. It's not going to be one of the top guys. So I just wonder in terms of how far down are we going to go in quality? Because as you know, those who have followed Rung Visay's career or had a peep at his record, it is quite typical for Thai fighters to face guys with very patchy records. And what this is often the result of, and even some people making their debuts, is that you get a lot of Thai boxers who then cross over into boxing for a fight. This can be misleading in both ways though, because you can think, right, he's facing somebody who's got absolutely no experience. But when you get Thai boxers who have very sound boxing fundamentals, they can end up being a real handful. So when it comes to Thailand and those lower weights, and I'd say the crossover skill set, it can be quite misleading looking at some of their records. So Rung Visay could face somebody not at all in the top 10, the top 20, the top 30, but it doesn't mean it won't be somebody good enough to help sharpen his skills. The one good thing is that generally these lower weight guys have to face somebody pretty useful if it's going to merit enough attention. They're already fighting against the current of just sizeism, where people aren't bothered looking at small guys who are about the same size as your average 10 or 11 year old. So the pressure is on for them to face somebody better. In terms of Rung Versailles' future, if Roman Gonzalez manages to beat Kalyafai in their upcoming fight in February and become WBA champ again, that may seem like an option, but I cannot see Chocolatito, if the Nicaraguan becomes champ again, wanting to face the tie in a rubber match. I know he said he has, and I know he's all heart, but looking at it strategically in this latter part of his career, he is not going to probably want to run into that brick wall again. And Rung Versailles would have to go in with a massive mental edge, having knocked out Chocolatito back in 2017. No, the fight that I think is still on the cards and I think we're working the, our way towards it is the rubber match against Estrada. I think Estrada is currently sidelined with a hand injury, but Rung Vizai should get his chance again, having given Estrada one in the first time, uh, in the first fight, he should get his chance in a third fight, which I will really look forward to. He of course made in the rematch one of the biggest tactical blunders in modern boxing, choosing to face the very skillful Mexican orthodox for, I think, was it 10 rounds? And then he chooses to go back to his regular stance southpaw and does a lot better in the last two rounds. I don't know what they were thinking. It was a bizarre idea. He clearly is nowhere near as effective as an orthodox fighter, as a righty. So he needs to go back to what he knows, slugging, thumping, and just being one hell of a handful. Whoever he faces though, whether it's some Thai boxer crossing over back into boxing or out of nowhere we somehow get an unlikely unification against Yerwin Ankahas, it will be good to see the Thai bulldozer back doing what he does best.